Okay, all right. Let's call this meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance on the north end of the Commons. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, let the record reflect that Director Gentilini is not present. Uh, 4.0 student representative. Hi. Um, the school year is coming to an end and we are very excited. Um, this Wednesday on the 15th, Mr. Strasser is taking the physics kids to Valley Fair. Um, it's a bunch of seniors, they are very excited to go. On Monday, the 21st, the seniors are having a scholarship award ceremony upstairs in the auditorium. I think that's at 10 o'clock. Um, hopefully everyone wins a lot of money because everyone's going to college that I hear. Um, the 24th is the last day for seniors, which, hallelujah. And we don't have school that Monday. That Tuesday, I don't know what we have going on that Tuesday, now that I think about it. And that Wednesday we have graduation practice, so we can pretend walking the stage. And then that Thursday we do have graduation. Tuesday we have our class trip where we are going to the Mall of America and to a Twins game. And we are very excited for that. So thank you. That's it. Thank you. Uh, 5.0 uh, agenda additions and deletions. I have none at this time, Mr. Chair. Uh, 6.0 visitor input. Do you have any visitors that want to speak? Yes, I'd uh, like to address, ladies and gentlemen of the board. Uh, you may not be aware of some of the history of how the salary schedule looked, it, not like it is, but it's my understanding that the current, with the current salary schedule that. Uh, a lot of teachers would be better off on the Virginia contract. It's primarily those that have some advanced coursework or advanced degrees. It was that way when I was on the board uh, 30 years ago. And it dates far back before that. Eveleth was one of the first communities to lose all its mineral value. And at that time, taconite wasn't a significant source of revenue for any of these old range towns. Other, the only towns that got much out of taconite were Babbitt and Silver Bay and White Lakes. So all of a sudden, all these public facilities that had been maintained primarily with mining taxes, and many communities, mining paid 90% of the taxes, all of a sudden, it fell back on homeowners. And all those elected city councilmen and mayors and school board members heard about it. And uh, I talked to some years ago that were from that era, and they said no matter how fast they cut expenses, taxes still went up because the, minute the valuation was disappearing faster than they could cut any expenses. And it seems like as a result of that era, they pushed hard on all their expenses, and Eveleth ended up with a salary schedule that uh, has always, it, going back a long time, has been a little lower than Virginia, especially at the upper levels. Then when you get to this campaign, a big part of the Vote Yes campaign has been a very strong support that a yes vote has received from teachers. And that's a big incentive for someone to vote yes when it's also going to mean a substantial raise down the road. If, if I was getting a $400 a month increase in Social Security for voting yes, it might change me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other ones? Any other questions? No. 7.0. Approve the agenda. Make a motion to approve the agenda. Support. Motion, motion by uh, Director Caesar. Supported by Director Lodiger. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 8.0. Uh, approve the Treasury report 
for the month of April and the first check writing of May. For the month of April will be a pretty good report. And for the first check writing in May, it might be even quicker report if I don't find it here. <laughs> Anyhow, for the, the month of April, uh, receipts totaling uh, $1,038,315.77. Uh, disbursements $418,326.08. And uh, payroll $704,497.86. Uh, balances um, as of uh, May 7th, uh, Miners Bank. Three million two hundred thirty-nine thousand three hundred twenty-two dollars and seventeen cents. First National Bank of Gilbert two million fifty-nine thousand six hundred thirty-two dollars and seventy-four cents. Total five million two hundred ninety-eight thousand nine hundred fifty-four dollars and ninety-one cents. Um, is there? Uh, First check writing in May, um, itemized in the packet, total disbursements of $109,262.32. Can, can I get a motion to uh, uh, approve the Treasury report? I'll move. Moved by uh, Sorkin. Uh, support. I'll, I'll support by Sailor. Um, any uh, discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 9.0. Uh, approve the mini minute meetings from the, from the consent agenda A. The minutes from the study session Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. Two minutes of the regular meeting Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. Three minutes of the joint meeting Thursday, May 2. Can I get a motion to approve the consent agenda? I'll make a motion. Motion by Lodiger. Second by Addy. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 10.0, nothing removed from the consent agenda. 11.0, personnel. 11.1, approve the notice of retirement of Nancy Nettleton. Mr. Chair, I apologize for, I see there's no uh, explanation underneath the, in the information letter, so let me help a little bit. Nancy, Ms. Nettleton is a paraprofessional here in the district on the Eveleth campus right now in the high school. She's been here since uh, 98, so she's been here for 21 years. And uh, and uh, she would be more than happy for me to tell everyone that she became a grandma this year and wants to go spend time with a grandkid now, so she's going to retire. Great, very good. 11.1, um, uh, can I get a motion to approve the retirement of Nancy Nettleton? I'll move, move with up. a letter of thanks. Move my move by with a letter of thanks. Can I second by Addy? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. 12.0 new business. 12.1 approved summer band program. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, the high school principal can't be here at the moment, but I do see Mr. Schumann's here. If you do have any questions, but this is uh, exactly like we've done for at least every year since I've been here and that we do summer lessons for younger kids, uh, elementary and 7th and 8th graders and then uh, we also have a stipend for uh, how many parades are you in Kev? Five. Five parades. So and that, that goes through July 4th and it's paid through the Community Education Youth Enrichment Fund. Good? Yep. Okay. Can I get a motion to approve the summer band program? I will make a motion to motion. approve. I'll support. Motion by Lodiger, supported by Yuhan. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. 12.2, uh, resolution number 685, appointing additional election judges. Go ahead, there, Ms. Presser Sather. Resolution number 685, relating to appointing additional election judges for the May 14th. 2019 school district special election be resolved by the school board of independent school district number 2154 Eppleth Gilbert Public Schools, Minnesota as follows. It is hereby found determined and declared as follows. 
pursuant to Minnesota statutes section 204B.21, subdivision 2, having determined that additional election judges will be required, the following individuals, each of whom is qualified to serve as an election judge, are hereby appointed as additional judges of election for the, for the school district special election on May 14, 2019 to act as such at the combined polling places listed below. Eblith City Auditorium at 421 Jackson Street, Eblith, Minnesota 55734 would be Tucker Nelson. And Gilbert City Hall, 16 South Broadway, Gilbert, Minnesota 55741 would be Patricia Wainio. Two, the additional election judges shall act as clerks of election, count the ballots, cast and, re and submit the results to the board for canvas in the manner provided for other school district elections. 12.2 resolution number 685 appointing additional election judges. Can I get a roll call vote, please? Need a motion and a second. Need a motion. Yep. I'll move. Support. Moved by uh, <laughs> Schober. Support by Lodiger. Any discussion? I just have a question. Uh, nothing against the people or anything, but uh, we determined that additional election judges were required. Did something happen since we? Uh, approve the other judges? Um, yeah. I don't know if you remember when we did the machine testing, I made a comment about you wanting to have another person available to be there to keep an eye on the machines just in case we have a jam or, you know, something like that comes up. Um, also, the, the great interest in the election, I think, just warrants another person because I think it's going to be busy tomorrow for them. And then these two people are going to be named clerks of the election. Um, and they're going to count the ballots and submit the results to the board. These people, or would the um, you have election judges that are like chairs or anything that do that part? Of uh, when you appoint judges, you have to have a head judge, yeah. and then your other judges. And yes, we had already appointed the head judges. Okay, but then will the head judges do the count the ballots and submit the results, or will these two as clerks do that? Well, they all they all work together to come up with the results at the end of the election. So this is just a general, general job description yes. of everybody. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Any more discussion on resolution 685? We have a motion by Seder. I mean, motion by Schoberg, second by Lodiger. Can I get a roll? Or can a roll call vote, please? Yep. Director Johan? Yes. Director Schoberg? Yes. Director Lodiger? Yes. Director Sather, myself, is a yes. Director Addy? Yes. Director Sorkins? Yes. And Director Genelini is absent. So that is six yeses and zero no's. Okay. 12.2. 12.3. Change the, the date of the second regular May meeting to May 20th. Yeah, Mr. Chair, our, our second regular meeting in May is scheduled for uh, Memorial Day, and which is a holiday which we've been trying to avoid. And the other thing is we have a study session set up on the 20th with MDE um, that I already went through on uh, staff development uh, requirements. And then the second thing is we, uh, we are required to canvass the vote sometime between the 17th and the 24th. So all things considered, I just think the, the 20th would probably be our best fit for our second May meeting, and uh, would like the board to entertain changing that date. Otherwise, we'll have to have a special meeting along with it to uh, canvass the votes. All right. Can I get a motion for 12.3 to change the second regular meeting of May to May 20th? I'll move. Motion by Sather, second by... I'll support. Johan, any more discussion? I just say that likely creates a conflict for me, but for the good of the order, let's go ahead and change it. It makes sense. Any more discussion? It's possible I may not be here, but I'll try and work on that. Make sure I am. Any more discussion? If, for whatever reason, we're following underneath the, the quorum, can we, can everyone let Director Addy know that way we can look at changing the meeting if needed or something. Yep. I'll make it happen. 
Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. Um, 13.0, old business. Update on national, update on, on national insurance. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'll just do 13.1 and 13.2 in a row here. Um, we had a meeting last Monday with a representative from National Insurance. Um, basically, it's a, pro it's a company that, that helps school districts out, in our case, with uh, negotiating better deals on, on insurance, that type of deal. And I, and I really feel at this time, but we did send, because there was only uh, two board members there that night, we did send the information packet out that the gentleman gave us, and we should probably, uh, at a not so soon, just in the future, have a study session with the whole board to discuss where we're going to go with that. Okay. And then uh, as far as the joint powers agreement, of course, tomorrow is uh, we'll determine whether we need to go any further, but Noel and I did meet with the gentleman from Fergus Falls, and he... Uh, gave us some direction on, on what that will start to look like um, in a timeline. Uh, so it depends on what happens tomorrow as far as where that goes, but the, that, the things will move pretty, he'll be ready to go and things will progress along pretty good. I mean, you guys are gonna have to be involved to determine what exactly should be in that uh, agreement and, and what whatnot, but uh, he assured me that, that within a month we could have that in place. That's all I have on that, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, 13.3 update on the sale of the building. How's yours? All right. I just, I, I guess right now at this time with the election, I guess we'll just wait to discuss that at a different time. Okay. 14.0 uh, administrative report and information. I just have one thing tonight, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Chair. I just. Tomorrow is obviously a historic vote for our school district, and while the proposal on the ballot certainly is not perfect, it, we feel very happy about where we're at, and we feel it's a great opportunity to change educational opportunities for all of our students. And I'm, I'm very proud of the effort that all of our volunteers and staff have put into the put in. I mean, they've just countless hours, and, and they have a good product in front of the voters right now. And uh, it's really quite amazing that two communities can get together like this and, and agree on something and get it this far in front of the voters. I mean, it's almost unheard of. And either way, I just I hope everyone exercises the right to vote tomorrow so that we can get some resolution to this and get back to normal one way or the other. And, and it will certainly be telling them which way we're going to go on, on Wednesday. So <clears throat> thank you to all of you, especially in the room front and back that have worked on this. I mean, it's, it's been awesome working with you. It's been a good journey. And I'm uh, not sure what we're going to do with ourselves on Wednesday, but we'll figure something out. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. 15.0, uh, board member topics. I'll start down here. Um, thanks. I some good news I spent the day on the golf course and the, the Golden Bear boys shot 20 strokes lower than they did last Friday at the same course so no. so it was a, a, a good day there um, um, I'd just like to you know echo what what Jeff said as far as the importance of getting out and voting and, and I I know um, anyone who's here obviously is gonna figure out how to get out and vote tomorrow and and how important that is, but to tell your friends, your acquaintances, because this um, really is a historic vote. Um, and, and I'd also um, just say, um, kind of echo what I read, um, Amir Oberstar uh, said in the paper yesterday, and anyone who read the paper yesterday know that Amir Oberstar and I are not on the same side of the issue, um, but after the election, it's so important for us to respect the voice of the people and to come together and to move forward, whatever the case it may be. Thanks. Thanks, Matt. All right. I have nothing. I have nothing. I have something really small. I came back from South Carolina and brought some nice weather. 
So wow. everyone can thank me. I delivered the promise. <laughs> I kept hearing about snow coming here this past week, and I think I may have been on the ocean when I was hearing that. So that's it. Sorry to go, but it was great. Well, thanks for the weather. You're welcome. Tomorrow is supposed to be even better right here. <laughs> Um, I would just like to thank everybody as well, and I'd like to encourage everybody that's here today to continue to come, because it's important to have you involved, no matter what direction tomorrow takes us. So please keep attending meetings. So that for one, thank you. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was I went to the choir and band concert the other night. Absolutely wonderful. It was such a great performance. Uh, Prince, there was Queen, they did a really nice job, so it's it's one of the better ones I've been to in a long time. So, congrats to those involved there. And I would just say the same thing about all the volunteers and the uh, committee members and all the, all the uh, people that work so hard on on this uh, campaign over the last uh, couple of years has been really impressive. All the uh, dedication they've uh, put put forward to this project, and looking forward to the results on uh, Tuesday night or Wednesday. So, that's it. All right. On that note, I would just like to say thank, thanks everybody for coming. I uh, appreciate it. I wish we had board meetings like this all the time. But, <laughs> but so we'll move on to 16.0 adjournment and get a motion to adjourn. I will make a motion. Motion by Lager, second by Addy. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye.